Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, uh, continuing our infectious disease series. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about atypical pneumonia. So we have patients come into the hospital or the clinic, and we diagnose a community-acquired pneumonia. Uh, we've got a typical pneumonia, which are low bar consolidated, versus the atypical pneumonias, which are interstitial and produce you know, a lot of cough in patients, but the cough is dry, generally not productive. They can have, obviously, fever and shortness of breath associated with it. When we look in the United States for adult atypical pneumonia, the most common ones that we see in the hospital, of course, are mycoplasma pneumonia, which is an organism that causes uh, uh, infection that's easily transmissible from patient to patient. Uh, also can be associated with tracheal bronchitis and erythema multiforme, bullous meningitis, uh, as well as a, uh, uh, a pharyngitis uh, on top of uh, even transverse myelitis can be seen. But most commonly, it's uh, uh, it's an it's an atypical interstitial pneumonia. Uh, Chlamydiophila uh, also uh, causes pretty much the same clinical picture. Of course, we look for that in causing acute chest syndrome in patients with sickle cell anemia. Uh, Legionella uh, is the uh, third or third or third organism of importance. There, uh, we'll be talking about Legionella uh, in another uh, uh, lecture. The viruses uh, can cause uh, atypical pneumonia as well, uh, and these are obviously uh, contagious. Uh, unlike Legionella, which is only, uh, you know, is not contagious person to person. Influenza, uh, big problem uh, in the United States uh, with super infection sometimes. RSV uh, has been an issue, uh, as well as even coronavirus, which is called SAR, which is cause SARS as well as MERS, M-E-R-S, in the Middle East. A uh, hantavirus occasionally we see causing a problem. Of course, that's a uh, hemorrhagic virus. And meta pneumovirus, which is more commonly seen in children, but we can see that in adults as well. Making the, the diagnoses of these viral infections can be uh, somewhat difficult. Influenza is probably the easiest, just with a, generally with a nasopharyngeal smear. So when patients come into the hospital, uh, or the clinic, uh, and you detect a <clears throat> uh, pneumonia, and you get a chest x-ray, and it's interstitial, it's not consolidated. You want to think about all these different organisms. Pleural effusions aren't as common with these pneumonias, though we can't see them. They're not as common as with the lobar pneumonias, where they those patients tend to have uh, perineumonic effusions, and of course, sometimes can develop empyemas. So, be wary of uh, all these different causes of atypical pneumonia in your differential diagnosis. Dr. Goldberg signing off. Thanks.